certainly if we're not if there hasn't been substantive progress i.e. change in the law i think within a couple of years for the second reporting period parliament would really want to know why that was one of the big areas of concern that was raised, I think, in meetings with the ambassador, meetings of the International Trade Committee, meetings in the, de the actual debate in Parliament, the European Parliament itself, when we discussed this question. So, you know, those are the points at which one can take substantive action. We're looking particularly at the PTA, particularly at the PTA. The constitutional, constitutional changes, I think, you, you in, in a sense, the constitutional change process within Sri Lanka is something which belongs with Sri Lanka that this is part of, you know, it works with some of the assurances given um, and some of the requests made within the UN Human Rights Resolution and the, the sort of the peace programme there. The, the mechanisms, the shape that Sri Lanka chooses is Sri Lanka's shape. For our, our point of view, from within how it fits with GSP+, it's how does it fit with conventions that look, for example, at civic and political rights will those be safeguarded? Um, how does it fit with CEDAW, you know, in terms of women's equality? So those would be the ways in which you'd look at constitutional change in the context of GSP+. The mechanisms, the shape, what Sri Lanka decides to do in terms of its own internal political balances, I mean, is regional balances or whatever else it is, is Sri Lanka's. How they will be seen from outside is where they fit with the UN process that Sri Lanka has engaged in voluntarily, and then with the international conventions which it has signed up, which has ratified, and which fits with GSP+. I mean, I think that's the, the view we would, we would take from the parliament. Individuals of us may have all sorts of ideas about how you, you might restructure internally, but as you can see, the European Union has some of its own discussions on that at the moment with different perspectives. So, you know, if you like the shape and the mechanisms, I think uh, it, it's Sri Lanka's constitution. You know, it's not mine. Um, for us, the, the Prevention of Terrorism Act change is the key, would, is the key one that the parliament has, has discussed. The other change is, I mean, it's an ongoing process. I mean, even in, in countries such as France uh, or wherever, you know, if you looked at measurements against those international conventions, there might be things that you'd want to, you'd shift. It's always a work in process. So the, 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 I think the key element about GSP Plus is this feeling that there is a momentum there, that things are moving, you know, that it, it, it's not given and people go, oh, great, we've got it now sit back, you know, rest against, sit back and, and do nothing. It's an ongoing process, and that's the evaluation of it, until, of course, things move within the economy, you, you know, and it's no longer needed.